Ooh hoo! Ooh! Yay! <sighs> E3, sir. Another day at E3 week, man. It's like Christmas for gamers. I know, man. I'm super excited. Yes. Did you hear that? Um, no, we're just gonna go ahead and do the episode. I think. Welcome yeah. to Infinite Inventory. I guess. Yeah. Inventory uh, voices aside, I'm O. And my name is Reggie, and we got games to talk about man it's e3 week it's exciting i can't wait so, <laughs> so we got microsoft coming off jump yeah coming up with gears of war 4. Gears of war 4 man you know this hit series it's, it's back we've talked about it multiple times i saw it last year and i'm just as bored as before <laughs> I, I don't know it, it, it's fine Gear, we saw a little bit of obviously the trailer they did some more gameplay for it there footage for in terms of chainsaw campaign is pretty looking yeah and we saw marcus at the end i mean today. at the end of the day i mean spoilers we got marcus phoenix he's back oh Good my man. god yay you know, <laughs> still probably decked out as usual cool. i mean do you plan on going through co-op with your friends and family ah. in this game again you know i might Maybe. I didn't buy three. I was just kind of done with it, but I think I'll pick up four. You know, I'm probably going to play this game because of the crossplay aspect. Yeah, I mean, that's... I'm really enjoying that. I feel like Microsoft is just putting one foot in the Xbox, one foot in the PC. And so with Gears of War 4, eh, I may give it a try now, now that it's coming out of the PC. I know what I said before, I may not. Mm -hmm. Probably still not. Uh -huh. But we're going to move on. I guess. So. Kenji and Fume is still making other games and whatnot, and obviously ReCore is another one that everyone's probably forgotten by now. Or so. But they came on the trailer for that and showing more of what the game can do. So got robots. Actually, yeah, we actually saw a gameplay for it. Three different types of robots, uh, I guess, or whatever. We got like a spidery one, we got a wolf one, and then we got one that's kind of like a uh, big bulky one. And there's one other one. There's a fourth one as well, I think. Uh, I can't remember which one it was there. But, but it's cool. Um, you know, they use the robot to do different platforming. Um, you know, the heavy or set robot who takes down bigger and better monsters, I guess, in general. And, you know, obviously you got, you know, your boys, the traditional platforming, you got the grappling hook and all this other nonsense. Yeah, I mean, how do you feel about this game for being such a platformer, I guess? Or, yeah. Well, okay, when I watched the trailer, I was like, this is a really stylistic trailer. And everyone knows I like stylish trailers, but it didn't sell me. Yeah. That's the big thing. It wasn't like, you know what, I'm gonna go buy an Xbox One when this game comes out. It's a cool concept, but I don't really like see myself wanting to buy it. But I mean, hey, it's an original title. It might show some more things for me there, so. And I like robots, but so honestly, I'm gonna keep giving this game a shot. It's not like I'm just throwing it away. Yeah, that's true. Let's go back in time. What was that? To Dead Rising, man. Oh, yeah. when we used to play that game and stuff? Yeah. How do you feel about killing zombies? I mean, your boy Frank is back, I believe. We can't get enough of him, of course. I yeah, mean, you know, he's seen wars. And we see in this trailer, there's, uh, well, there's always been a huge amount of zombies on the uh, screen there, but it looks like there's a lot of, like, suits and, like, different things he can create to it there, so maybe he's taking back to a little bit, back to the day and stuff. Here's the thing about Dead Rising for me is that game has been a great stress reliever, except part one's shitty AI okay. and yeah. all the nonsense that you had to deal with that one. It was back in the day. Uh, <laughs> it's not fair. Fair, one. It, it was fair enough, I'll give it that. But I'm probably gonna give this game a shot only because I didn't play too much of two and I didn't play three at all. Mm. So, eh, well, what's, what's it hurting? I guess so. I mean, maybe they could add multiplayer and some other things. That'd be kind of cool, I guess. Zombies never gets killing zombies never gets old. Man. Speaking of which, multiplayer aside, there remember the game Titanfall being only multiplayer in general, and now we have Titanfall 2, which is saying they're gonna add a story mode, which is pretty interesting. Which is not Xbox exclusive. Yeah. That's that's the key thing. Yeah, I believe. Here's my thing with Titanfall. Before you get into it, no, my thing with Titanfall, the game graphically still looks the same. I almost this I almost want this game to be called Titanfall Complete. Yeah. I feel like that would be what it needs for to be Reggie called. there's more Titans. So you can do and I things. am pumped to buy this game again. Yeah, it's like <laughs> grabbing hooking people and kicking them in the chest from afar and stuff. That's pretty awesome. I like that. It's the hey. different little robot abilities that they're coming out with and the campaign actually looks pretty cool. I can't remember the name of his Titan, yeah. but when he did the when he was falling off the side and, and he, he called, called it and, and he caught him, I was like we're in there. Yeah, Let's that's, go. That's pretty <laughs> sweet. I can't wait to see the interaction of that. Obviously, it's probably going to die or break or do anything else or something. Protocol 3. BT! Protect the pilot. So, do you like pirates? Uh, I guess. No? I always like ninjas more. Okay, whatever. See of Thieves. It's a pirate game where you can play with your friends. I did not watch a single thing of this. It was, it was cool to see how you can interact with your uh, other players, jump on the ship, and everyone takes a different point and turns the ship there and fight different, uh, obviously, other high speed ships with cannonballs. And the ship actually sinks, and if you lose your ship, you lose your ship. And you just so, it. 
explain to me and explain to the people yeah. what this game, so is it multiplayer? Am I fighting right. other people? Is this an MMO fighting other pirates with their ship and their crew? I mean, it didn't really go into too detail of it there. It looked like you can actually fight other people in, on a different ship and stuff after you find your ship and you know, voyage to sea and stuff. And that's really cool. You can go to different islands, find treasure and whatnot. And then if someone you happen upon another place, you blow up their ship. That's cool. It's, hey, it's hey. the pirate way. I like that. Hey. <laughs> Let's talk technology, man. Okay. Xbox. S, the Xbox One S. Yes, it's smaller. It's slim. It's got it's a, a bigger, bigger hard drive. drive. That's that's good, right? Right? I mean, this is the two things that we kind of want, so that way it would have, uh, you know, obviously you have that small in your home, it's not a big, huge block in your room and stuff like the Xbox One is in general. And you know, it has a bigger hard drive, which people will complain about in general. So that's exciting. I'm okay with that and stuff. I mean, if also, I mean, obviously, if I was gonna get an Xbox One, I would get this one, but. Yeah. It's still, I mean, other than the whole new feature Xbox Arena, which sounds really cool. Yeah. I'm, honestly, I'm more interested in the Scorpio. I'm more interested in waiting for this. this Scorpio, the new one that's supposed to be coming out. I mean, they both play 4K, but the Scorpio is apparently a monster in terms of everything you can do. This thing sounds like a next gen system. Are we, okay, are we in the two year cycle? Are we waiting two years for a new game? Because back in the day it was five years. Mm -hmm. Then we did 10 years yeah. from 360 PS3 onto this gen. Right, right. And now it seems like two to three years. I mean, it's gonna come to the point where we're going to upgrade into something new. There. Welcome to the PC life where we upgrade yeah, a I'm, lot. I mean, we've done it all the time and it's about time that we move on to a new system in general. I mean, but I don't know how they're going to transition that if they're coming out with a slim version of this or they're gonna kind of do the same thing with the PS2, the PS3 kind of era there in terms of it. I don't know. It's really but, something that you gotta worry about. But the specs do look, look nice and I, uh, We'll see. We'll see what uh, what they bring. I mean, you have to have a 4K TV to do all this, so it's not like I'll get one eventually. Maybe. Nah. I don't know. We'll see what happens. You know, game that we uh, didn't even talk about before the show, Scalebound. Oh, I forgot about that game. <laughs> it's, it's I'm that honestly, bad. I'm honestly bored with that game because it doesn't really show a lot that I would want to play. But that's from your boy, though. <laughs> Bayonetta, that life, you know you love that life. I don't know. I'm, I really <laughs> want to see more about the whole fact that you have each individual dragon. Does there anything to make them different or are they all exactly the same? So that's really just my gripe. Other than that, it looks, it looks pretty. It looks like a huge scale of monsters and different cooperative play in terms of defeating monsters in that area. I'm excited for that. That's really cool. Yeah, we don't have enough detail on scale bound. My two wishes for that game is it's a little combination of Monster Rancher from the past and a little bit of Dragon Seed. If anyone even knows what that game is. But there's the little the little quirks and little details in your dragon to make it your own. Infinity! Ah, E3 weekend, man. Ooh. All right, so that's the end of the Microsoft trip. That's done. We're going to take it to Sony next week. Yeah, man. I can't wait to do that, but we got other stuff to do. Like, share, subscribe. We're on House on Twitter and also view us on Twitch. We do other things. I'm your host, O. My name is Reggie. We'll see we'll y'all later. later. All right. Sit go. down. Finish your E3 coverage. Okay. So I think I'm just gonna leave anyway. Oh. What if we refuse?